So after yesterday, B Riley gave AMC a hot rating. Today we're having benchmark raising the estimates for the growth for AMC Entertainment. All of these companies are getting bullish and positive right before the earnings call. Analysts from Benchmark raised its growth estimates for AMC on Friday, citing better than expected domestic box office performance. AMC will report earnings on May 5th before market open. Benchmark now estimates that AMC will report first quarter revenue of $912 million, up from its prior estimate of $831 million. Analysts surveyed by FactSet are looking for the first quarter revenue of $930 million, which is even greater than benchmark. And guys, all these bullish information, statements, expectations and predictions are without any squeeze, without any short interest, without any short selling. Domestic box office exceeded our expectations, according to Benchmark. The analyst firm, who also raised its estimate for adjusted EBITDA earnings before interest tax depreciation and amortization, to a loss of $37 million, which is very, very little, in comparison with the prior estimates of $86 million. Analysts surveyed the fact set are looking for the EBITDA loss of only $33 million, which is lower than the benchmark. And of course, the sweetest part over here, benchmark has also hold rating for AMC, which is the same as B. Riley from yesterday. Now you maybe wonder where are the articles saying that the only stock that you should sell right now is AMC. Sell this stock right now, opening the article, it says AMC. Where are these articles right now? It's not only just these two companies who are focusing on the positive outlook for the company. In a recent report, analytics company Placer AI noted that the cinema attendance has climbed significantly since January 2021, when the cinema industry was wrestling with the disruption caused by the pandemic. As of the February 2023, attendance is tracking at more than 322% above the levels from January 2021. I wish the stock was up 322%, to be honest. And you're probably waiting to see what Benchmark thinks about the actual conversion of the AP issuing more AMC shares and of course the reverse stock split. According to them, AMC to raise capital as soon as possible as the settlement is resolved is extremely important. We think AMC will immediately tap the capital markets on a successful transaction. The capital raise would likely be used to provide relief to AMC significant net debt obligations. So guys, as we can see over here, all of these research and analyst companies are focusing on the fundamental value and they don't even want to touch on the speculative side, following up with the cost to borrow, following up with the short interest and the situation with the actual stock performance. I know we all want to fast forward and see how the company will be trading when it has zero debt, when it has normal, better performance than prior to the pandemic, then I believe personally that this will be the end game for, for anyone who is actually short for the company because they will have no edge towards shorting it, right? There will be nothing to short, nothing to bash every single day or create articles or media uh, just pointing out people to simply sell the stock. There is uh, very, very little things to, I can think of they can come up with, right? Yeah.